Some of the rarest, oldest rocks in the universe are right here in Houston, but they're not locked up inside a jewelry store or a museum. Yeah, instead they are inside a secure NASA lab. Houston space reporter Ryan Korsgaard takes you inside the meteorite lab at the Johnson Space Center to show you how looking at the future of space means looking back billions of years. Before you can ever actually go inside the lab, you've got to pretty much cover up everything, and then it's off to an air shower for a minute. So this is a batch of it. Treasures from the ice of Antarctica live inside this freezer at the Johnson Space Center. And here you can see what four and a half billion year old asteroid looks like. The geologists gathered the nearly 22,000 meteorites here. This is a piece of the moon. They were all sent to Houston, where they are closely tracked. They were actually packaged like this down there, and then um, they've been frozen ever since they were collected. Ryan Ziegler is the Apollo sample curator. Basically, he keeps track of these old rocks. These are from Mars. From the freezer, they dry out in a nitrogen-filled airlock. The way this is going to work is that we're going to chip off a small piece of this. We're going to send it to the Smithsonian Institution. They're going to do initial classification and tell us the basic rock type that we think it is. Some of the oldest materials in our solar system are here, from the moon, Mars, or even an asteroid. The meteorites are probably all 4.4 billion years old or older, and that's and almost everything in this lab is older than that. And he saved the best for last. This big rock, about 240 pounds in a special case. It's the biggest Antarctic meteorite uh, ever, uh, ever brought here to Johnson Space Center. This is space exploration without leaving our planet. Everything about it is fun. You get to go to Antarctica, you get to collect meteorites. Um, you then, it's like a treasure hunt. And for a lot of scientists, this is the most exploring we're going to get to do. What they learn here could help explain the early days of our solar system. These are just a few of the meteorites. Keep in mind, depending on how many they get each year, they have from several months to several years to process these, so we have a better idea of what's inside. At the Johnson Space Center, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.